in this video we are going to discuss about principle of inclusion and exclusion inclusion means union operation whereas exclusion means intersection operation we know that union means r operation whereas intersection means and operation uh, we are going to solve we are going to discuss about principle of inclusion and exclusion by solving this example let us see the problem consider a set of integers from 1 to 250 find out so first problem how many numbers are divisible by 3 or 5 second problem how many numbers are divisible by 5 or 7 third problem how many numbers are divisible by 3 or 5 or 7 next how many numbers are divisible by 3 or 5 but not by 7 and the last problem is how many numbers are not divisible by 3 or 5 or 7 so let us solve all these examples so first here three numbers are given 3 5 7 solution let a is equal to integers divisible by 3 integers divisible by 3 divisible by 3 and b is equal to integers divisible by 5 c is equal to integers divisible by 7 okay next so here what is the maximum number 250 is the maximum number so first let us find out n of a n of a so n of a means n of a means number of integers number of integers divisible by 3 divisible by 3 so here what is the maximum number 250 so 250 by 250 by what is a a means integers divisible by 3 so number of integers divisible by 3 means 250 by 3 so what is the result 3 8s are 24 3 threes are 9 okay we have to ignore the fractional part likewise let us find out n of b n of b is equal to number of integers divisible by number of integers divisible by 5 so that is n of b okay so 250 by 250 by here we are calculating divisible by 5 so 250 by 5 means what 5 5 is 25 50 next likewise let us calculate n of c n of c is equal to number of integers divisible by 7 so 250 by 7 250 by 7 so 7 3s are 21 next to 25 minus 21 means 4 so 4 0 35 35 so that is what is n of a what is n of b and what is n of c so likewise we can calculate n of a intersection b so what is n of a intersection b number of integers divisible by intersection means under operation number of integers divisible by 3 uh, 3 and 5 3 and 5 that is equal to 250 by a means what 3 b means 5 so 250 by 3 into 5 so that is equal to 250 by 15 so what is the result 15 ones are 15 25 minus 15 means 10 next 15 100 so 15 6 likewise let us calculate n of b intersection c also 250 by b into c b into c what is b b means 5 whereas c means 35 so 250 by 35 we will get some value likewise we need to find out uh, n of a intersection c also okay here the formula is very very simple so for space constraints uh, i am erasing this portion n of a union b is equal to n of a union b means what number of integers divisible by a or divisible by b the formula is n of a union b is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b so what is n of a union b number of integers divisible by a or b is equal to n of a means number of integers divisible by 5 
n of b means number of integers divisible by b n of a intersection b means number of integers divisible by a and b okay here what is the first problem how many numbers are divisible by 3 or 5 here 3 means what n of a whereas 5 means what what is the first problem number of integers divisible by 3 or 5 3 or 5 here 3 means a whereas 5 means b so this is the formula n of a union b is equal to n of a what is n of a 83 plus what is n of b 50 minus what is n of a intersection b number of integers divisible by both a and b we got the result as 16 so 83 plus 50 minus 16 so that is equal to some value so that is the result of the first problem let us solve the second problem how many numbers are divisible by 5 or 7 how many numbers are divisible by so first problem is over let us solve the second problem how many numbers are divisible by 5 or 7 so 5 or 7 so here what is 5 5 means b value what is 7 c value so we have to find out n of b or c what is the formula n of b plus n of c minus n of b intersection c this is the formula so what is n of b n of b means 50 plus what is n of c n of c means 35 minus what is n of b intersection c 350 by 250 by 35 what is the result of 250 by 35 so 35 250 so what is the result 35 6 6 6 fives are 30 6 3 is 18 18 plus 3 210 so 30, 210 plus 35 means what 245 so uh, the result is 7 so 35 into 7 what is the result of 35 into 7 7 fives are 35 7 3 is 21 plus 3 24 we have to ignore the fractional part so what is the result 7 is the result minus 7 so we will get some result so that is nothing but number of uh, uh, integers divisible by 5 or 7 now let us calculate the next one what is the next one so second problem is also over what is the next one number of integers divisible by 3 or 5 or 7 so 3 means a value 5 means b value 7 means c value r means union so here the formula is like this n of a union b union c is equal to n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of uh, a b is over b c is over minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c so this is the formula so n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c so what is n of a n of a is nothing but 83 plus what is n of b 50 plus what is n of c 35 minus what is n of a intersection b 16 minus what is n of b intersection c it was already calculated 7 minus n of a intersection c what is n of a intersection c so 250 by what is n of a value what is n of a value so n of a means what number of uh, integers a value is what 3 so 3 into this is the formula so 3 into 250 by 3 into here we are calculating n of a intersection c what is c value 7 so 3 into 7 means what 21 so 21 so what is the result so 21 tens are 210 next 210 plus 21 means what 210 plus 21 means 232 232 plus 21 means what so 2 1 3 yeah 3 plus 2, yeah it is not possible so the result is 11 so 21 into 11 means 21 into 11 means 11 ones are 11 11 22 is 22 231 231 okay 
So 11 is the result. So minus 11 plus n of a intersection b intersection c. So 250 by what is a value 3? What is b value 5? What is c value 7? So 5 into 50. So 50 by 3 into 7. So 50 by 3 into 7 means 21. 21 2s are 42. So 2. Okay. So what is the result? 83 plus 50 means 113. 113 plus 35 means 113 plus 35 means 148. Next. 16, 17, 23. 23, uh, 11 means 23, 11, 23. So 16 minus of 16 plus 7, 23. 23 plus 11 means 34. So 34. So 148 minus 34. So that is equal to 114. 114. 114 plus 2 means what? 116. So this is the result. So what is the result of N of A union, B union, C? 116. 116 is the result. Okay. Likewise, let us solve the remaining problems. So what is the next problem? What is the next problem? Number of integers, number of integers divisible by 3 or 5 but not by 7. Number of integers divisible by 3 or 5 but not by 7. So let us see this problem. N of 3 means A value or N of here we need to find number of integers divisible by 3 or 5 but not by 7. Okay. The formula is very very simple. N of n of a union b union c minus but not by 7 but not by 7 7 means c value so we have to subtract with c so what is n of a union b union c already it was calculated 116 minus what is n of c 35 so 116 minus 35 means some value okay so 3 or 5 but not by 7 means we have to subtract this n of c from that value okay now let us see the last problem the last problem is the number of integers that are not divisible that are not divisible that are not divisible by 3 or 5 or 7 okay so this can be written as not divisible means a union b union c whole bar so that is equal to total value so totally how many values are there 250 so 250 minus n of a union b union c so 250 minus 116 so we will get some value so that is nothing but number of integers that are not divisible by 3 or 5 or 7 so in this way we can solve any problem with the help of principle of inclusion and exclusion so this is about principle of inclusion and exclusion